Well, could a controversial bill in Tallahassee change the way you vote? Some tense moments and hours of discussion among Florida senators. They debate a voting bill that some say could wipe millions of people off their rolls. Renata DiGregorio is live at the Duval County Supervisor of Elections Office for us this morning. And Renata, let's talk about this bill because it's facing some major changes. Exactly what would it do? It would do a couple of things, Keitha, and it's facing a lot of changes, actually. One of them, though, would make it so that things would change the way that we look at the signatures on mail-in ballots. It would also restrict drop boxes and make voter registration changes harder. There are a number of amendments to the bill, like we said, and the Senate Rules Committee meeting lasted five hours before they ran out of time to even vote on it. A big question that kept coming up is why are these changes needed? Can you tell us here today about a single instance of uh, a VBM Dropbox being tampered with? I can't tell you when somebody robbed my house, but I still lock it every night. Senate Bill 90. Senators for the bill argue it's about being proactive with election security. Those against, that it would make voting harder, especially for seniors, minorities, and people with disabilities. Initially, the bill banned ballot drop boxes, but the bill's sponsor, Senator Dennis Baxley, changed that to let them operate during early voting hours. Other changes, requests for vote by mail ballots would have to be made every general election cycle instead of every two. Also, a signature matching requirement comparing a recent pen to paper signature to the signature when you vote which opponents say would wipe millions of people off the rolls, especially because the electronic signatures have been used for years to register to vote at the DMV. We don't believe these bills are necessary at all. All they're going to do is confuse voters. You heard the League of Women Voters Florida president say there, bills, plural. There's also one in the House going through there right now. The, the Duval County Supervisor of Elections Office says nearly 140,000 people voted by mail in November. Coming up in the next half hour, we're going to talk about why disability advocates are getting involved here. I'm Renata DiGregorio, live in downtown Jacksonville. First Coast News on your side.